Hey guys, check out what I've got. This is the Asus X200MA. It's a really sweet little laptop and really affordable too. So this thing is pretty cool. I like this thing a lot more than I thought I would. So I'm not usually a fan of small laptops. I like the bigger screens, but this thing really surprised me. So to start out with, it's an Asus. I really like the Asus brand. They make quality stuff in general. I've always been happy with their products. And uh, it's just really slick and nice. It's like, it has a really high quality look. Right now it's $279 on Amazon. If you click the link below, um, it'll take you directly to the Amazon page. You can check out the full specs and the current price. So this looks like a really nice laptop for $279. It's really quite incredible. Uh, nice and thin, lightweight, um, really sleek. So let's look at what we have on the outside. We have a VGA port, which is uh, odd. Not a lot of them have that anymore. HDMI, which is even better. A uh, USB port right here. Um, and two more USB ports over here. You'll notice that this one is blue and these ones are black. The blue one is a USB 3.0. It's the new high-speed format. Uh, you got a card reader right there for memory and you got an Ethernet port. It's got this neat little flippy thing. So um, that's it and let's open it up. So one thing that is uh, characteristic about this thing is it's got a touch screen. Now, I personally don't care for touch screens on laptops, but it's actually pretty nice. It, uh, it feels nice and seems to be responsive. So if we open it up, uh, you know, you can see that it's, you know, if you, if you were to have this sitting on your lap, I guess you could kind of use it like a big tablet. I don't see why not. The hinge opens only to about like that, but you can still use it like that. And it's small enough that you can get it close to you. One thing I don't like about the touch screens on laptops is that you're not really using it up close to your body. You know, you usually have it sitting out here like this. But this one's, you know, with a smaller size, you can actually get it a little bit closer to you if you're sitting in bed or whatever and actually use the touch screen functionality. So uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, the the uh, keyboard, I think, is as good as you're going to get for this size of keyboard. Um, it does not have the number pad over on the side, but anything in this size is not going to have room for it. So it feels pretty nice to type on. Uh, the keys are all separated and they feel pretty good. The trackpad is a decent size for something like this. Uh, a lot of laptops that are larger only have a touchpad that's this big, so it's a decent um, size for the size of the laptop it is. Uh, the trackpad itself is pretty responsive. It's like ultra smooth. It's like uh, it feels like aluminum or something. In fact, I think it might be aluminum, but it's very smooth. It does not have the physical buttons at the bottom. It just has uh, left click and right click by pushing on it. And um, so let's take a look at some of the things this can, thing can do. Now, this thing has a uh, Celeron processor. Uh, it's an N2815. It's a 1.86 gigahertz processor, which is a little bit slower than um, some other $300 laptops, but it's actually done better than other ones that I've tried, which is strange. Like, it, for example, if we look at this Flash game, uh, if we play on this thing, it's actually running really smooth. I tried this on uh, some other laptops, and it didn't run it quite as smooth. And another thing to mention here is the screen. So I mentioned that I don't uh, usually like smaller screens on laptops, but with the portability this thing offers and lightweight, um, what I was amazed at is the screen even though it's smaller, it looks much better than a lot of 15-inch um, laptops. I've been reviewing um, some 15.6-inch laptops, and the screens really sucked compared to uh, this thing. Like, the, the resolution just looked awful. Like, it looked grainy and, and washed out and blurry. But this one is sharp. Like, the colors look a lot better. The resolution is a lot better. Um, so even though it's a smaller screen, it's got more pixels packed in, and that makes it look way, way better. It's much sharper, much prettier to look at. So that's one thing I really like about it. It's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive, um, which with everything going to streaming, you know, all the movies and music that's going to streaming, that might be all you need, probably will be all you need. You're not going to be installing big games on this anyway, since it can't play it. You know, you can be able to play as little flash games, which you're not going to store on the computer anyway. But if you think you might need more storage, there are really excellent um, external hard drives out there. I'm going to put a link to a really good one. Look down below for the Amazon link to that. Um, speaking of drives, it's not surprising, but this does not have an optical drive. Um, you would not 
expect an optical drive in this type of computer. It's just not going to happen. Um, if you want to get an optical drive, if you've still got DVDs that you want to play, or if you want to record DVDs, this is the one I recommend. This uh, Samsung is super popular. Um, it's a little portable uh, DVD writer and reader, so it can read and write DVDs and CDs. It's super slim, super lightweight. It's not much bigger than a DVD itself. Um, it's very affordable. It's pretty cheap. Click on the link below. I'll link to this as well, so you can see all the specs and price on Amazon. And it just plugs in with a USB cable. There's no uh, external power cable or anything. It's just really easy. You just plug it in and play. So. Let's see here. Uh, the weight is really good. It's 2.7 pounds or 1.22 pounds. So if you're going to be walking around campus or wherever you're going in the backpack, this will actually be a lot better. Your shoulders won't hurt as much at the end of the day carrying this as it would as you would a bigger laptop. So that's one thing that's really nice about it. It does not have Bluetooth. So um, if you want to use Bluetooth devices, what I recommend is uh, there's little Bluetooth adapters. They look like this. You plug them into one of the USB slots, and that lets you use your Bluetooth devices. They're really small. They only stick out. Only that black part is what sticks out. And they're super inexpensive. They're like $10. I'll uh, look below, for, again, for the link to that. So um, this thing is really nice. Uh, one thing that you're going to be using this for a lot is watching videos, YouTube, Netflix, and the like. So what I have is a trailer pulled up here. I have it on 720 uh, P, which is the highest resolution, and um, let's have a look at it. I'm going to turn the sound up, maybe about 70. Maximize it, and we'll see what the see what the video looks like on this thing. So just like the game there where I was mentioning, even though the screen size is smaller, but the quality of the screen, the quality of the picture is actually a lot better than the 15.6 inch monitors in this price range, which is what surprised me and would actually make me consider buying this over a 15.6 inch monitor. The picture just looks so much better. The resolution looks better. The colors look deeper. It doesn't look washed out and blurry and grainy. So that's what I like most about this laptop. Um, if you're looking for a touchscreen laptop in this size, uh, good quality, quality brand, Asus, I would definitely look at this one. Um, for the price, I don't think that uh, you're going to do a whole lot better than that. So, thanks for watching.